Now with all the wood cut, everything from the table top to the drawer, the sides, the legs, the bars, everything done ready. All we have to do is clean them down and then we can think about the joint sawdust to be used. This wonderful oak sawdust for smoking fish. Now we come to start to join the pieces together. This is the table top. We've got them angled so that the best is made of the site warpage. I can clean them off afterwards. What I'm going to do is mark uh, a series of marks across here and then using the tri square remark inside the edges halfway so that I can drill holes all the way along and these pieces of short dowel I'm going to cut off will then support the joint as I glue the two halves together and sash clamp it together with a sash clamp. When that's dry and secure then I'm going to join the ends on as well. I've got two laminates to put on here, light and dark, and then we can plane the whole surface off. So let's do that next, shall we? And we'll mark which two pieces are going where, and then quite simply, I don't even have to measure these because as long as they are the same, that's the most important thing, as long as they link up together, that's all that really matters. And I know where it's going to join because I've put the two A's there. If I tilt this onto their sides, take the tri-square, I can then mark across, I can guess halfway easily enough, and that's where I shall drill to put the dowel peg in and the same the other side. Simple as that. Now so that I know um, how deep I'm going to drill, I put a little bit of sellotape here and I'll drill equally into all of the holes, then I know that my doweling only has to be a fraction shorter than that. I'll turn these onto the sides now. Keep the drill vertical, start it off dead centre. Simple as that. Cut the dowel rod. Off at those lengths and glue the whole thing together. Right, these two halves now fit together, you can see I put the pegs in so I've got to lay the glue along here and then bang them together and put the sash clamps on. Plenty of glue, you can wipe it off. I want to make sure it's going to stick together really well. Just to avoid the edges that I want to still plane up being damaged. Let me tighten those up really well and the glue will squeeze out as you see. Do the same with the other clamp. I want to take this willow down, so these are the end pieces. I'm going to put some dark pieces across there at the very end as well. I've already plane that side, marked off level. Now I've just got to plane this side down. You can see the willow now and the other strip of oak which I'm going to stain darker. They've been pegged, they will fit in the end of the table so. So I'm just going to trim the ends off now and then do the staining. I'll be ready for finally planing up and touching up. Well, the tabletop has now been basically planed down and the two end pieces are fitted into place but they aren't glued yet because so I've yet to stain them and finish them off. Um, then we'll be ready to start on the, on the uh, drawer and the legs and all the rest of the supporting frame. I've turned the tabletop upside down now and just screwed on a, a, a working, a blank piece of wood here in order to be able to brace on to use the sash clamps 
to clamp on the ends, glue the ends here, and then I'll turn it round and glue these ends on when this has clamped, when the glue's dry, and remove this piece of wood afterwards. Whilst I'm waiting for that, my next job is to use a rebate plane and find a blade that will fit the base of the drawer that I'm going to have in the um, table. That one fits nicely to that piece of plywood. And that is going to cut me a groove inside all four of the drawer front sides and back along here so that the base slots into that after I do my dovetail joints, which I'll show you later. Cut out a slot. There we go. Nice and neatly. Quickly adjust it down until it reaches its lowest level that we've set. And then our piece of ply should just fit into that. Yes, lovely. So now we've got to do the other three and we can uh, measure out the joints. Now we come to cut the male joints of the sides of the drawer and we're going to do a very simple joint called a dovetail because it is in the shape of a dove's tail. First we measure the thickness of the other plank that's going to go, the side that's going to go up to it, and draw a line across and round. And then we find the centre of the piece of the joint that we want to make. Having found the centre we measure each side and in this case I've done an inch and three quarters of an inch, another quarter inch bevel or dovetail and use the uh, square to come across here for the saw mark because we're going to saw down this line all the way down to there and then down there and take out this waste piece of wood here and here and the same at the other end. So this will mean that the other piece will slot onto there because we're going to cut the opposite of this out of the other piece and it will slot into it and can't pull out. Once it's glued in it's a nice simple joint. You can make as many of these as you want. I mean we could have made two in here and made it even fancier but for the size piece I want, for the strength I want, one should be adequate. Okay let's get away now and cut this with a tenon saw. Um, it's a small square saw used especially for cutting dovetails and tenons. This is our tenon saw. And we just draw it back, we're going to cut on the outside edge of each of the joints. So we'll always cut just on the outside edge of the joint so we don't have an uneven edge. We don't want a shoulder higher one side than the other. We are not to be losing the joint. So we'll cut on the outside edge. Once we've got down to that mark, then we can take it onto its side. And we can cut down just on the outside of that, about the shoulder. Absolutely straight, it'll just fall off. Do the rest with all the other joints, and we end up with our four dovetails, and we have to do the female joint, which I'll show you in a minute. We've cut our dovetails now, and it's time to make the female of the joints. You see that I've actually numbered them, each of them. That's important because there's going to be a very slight difference in these joints, only very slight. So now we need a very sharp pencil. We know these are going to go on the inside, and this is the front of the drawer. So what I'm going to have to do now is that is number B, so I'll mark that B. And this one is C, so I'll mark that C, B, and that is going to have to be fitted onto there. So if I put this vertically, just like that, and we can mark across there. And this will give us a joint that will fit the one we've cut. Now, there's the female part of the joint, and that will come down to where I've marked the width of the plank across. Check that's correct. Yes, that's okay. And the other side the same. So that's the piece I'm going to cut out. I'm going to saw out down these angles all the way down to the thickness of the wood here. And then we have to chisel out this part carefully. Now for the